Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about shedding and breakage. And a lot of us get this confused, get the two confused, we get especially breakage confused with shedding. I remember one subscriber messaged me and she said she had just done a protein treatment and that she was experiencing excessive shedding and I messaged her back and asked her if she sure that it was shedding because I didn't think the protein treatment would affect the hair coming out of her scalp and upon talking to her even further she realized that it was breakage and she was able to correct it from there and so I'm going to first talk about shedding. Shedding is absolutely normal. It's a normal part of the growth cycle. We have four stages in the growth cycle when you are shedding hair usually the shed hair is the length of your hair and it will always have either a white or a clear tool at either end of the hair that's how you know that it's a shed hair we shed between 50 to 100 hairs daily that's on average and so how shed hair is a part of the growth cycle um, the first phase is called the antigen phase and this can happen between two to six years um, this is pretty much when the hair in the hair follicle is receiving blood and oxygen and that's what helps our hair grow and like I said it happened for two to six years then it enters into the catagen phase the catagen phase happens between one to two weeks and this is when the hair detaches itself from its blood and oxygen supply which is the dermal papilla it detaches itself and this happens between one and two weeks. Then it enters into the telogen phase. The telogen phase is the resting phase and that's pretty much the hair is quote unquote dead. It's not receiving any blood or any oxygen. It's just in your scalp and that happens for five to six weeks. And then finally the last phase is the exogen phase and that's when your hair sheds. And, and that hair that um, has shed, that hair follicle, um, another hair or another hair strand emerges from that follicle and so all of the follicles on our hair they have they are all within they are all in the growth cycle it is all happening concurrently meaning that there can be two follicles right next to each other and one could be in the antigen phase and one can be in the exogen phase and so that's how all of our hair is able to grow and we don't miss the shed hairs because it's all happening concurrently and so, like I said, we shed between 50 to 100 hairs per day. When it becomes abnormal, because when it becomes abnormal, and that pretty much determines what do you think is abnormal, a lot of people um, shed fewer than the 50 hairs a day, and a lot of people shed more than 100 hairs a day. And so that pretty much depends on you. You'll know when you are shedding abnormally. And so when you are shedding abnormally, that either means you're not drinking enough water or you are in taking your vitamins or you don't have a proper diet and so you're not getting the proper nutrients for your hair to thrive which means that your hair is shedding and so if you are drinking your water and your diet is proper and I mean properly balanced and everything and your hair is still shedding it could be something internally that's going on with you something that you need to go to the, doc to the doctor and check out for yourself because our skin and our hair pretty much tells us externally that something is going on internally and so you definitely need to go to the doctor and check that out because that's more important than the hair on your head making sure that you don't have anything that's life threatening so that's pretty much my take on shedding breakage breakage for the most part is not normal um it's not normal and I'm going to get into how it can be normal later. So breakage can be caused for a number of things, from a number of things. It can be caused from moisture and protein balance. It can be caused from misuse of chemicals like relaxers and colors. It can be caused from physical damage, from heavy manipulation, from detangling improperly. Like if you're not detangling from the ends to the root. Um, it can be a number of reasons why you are your hair is breaking and so how you can identify broken hairs is it's normally a lot shorter than the length of your hair and it does not have the white bulbs at the end and so you definitely want to pinpoint exactly what are you doing in your hair regimen that is causing this breakage it can be one product that causes breakage or it can be something that you are doing over time that can be causing this breakage 
And so how breakage can be normal according to the science of black hair care, our hair over time becomes really weak. Um, it's old, our ends are old, especially if it's been on your hair for years. It becomes old from the wear and tear. And so in a healthy hair regimen, if you are if your hair is breaking, like between wash days, if you are if you have five under five broken hairs, then that's okay. It would not um it will not mess up your optimal growth retention because it's completely normal to have those broken hairs. And on wash days, it's fewer than 10 broken hairs. So if you have on wash day fewer than 10 broken hairs and on the days between wash days um, when you're styling your hair or combing your hair or whatever, and you have under five broken hairs, then that's completely normal. And you don't have anything to worry about. But you have, if you have more than that, then you probably need to... Um, Look at your hair regimen and see what's going on. So that's pretty much my tech on shedding and breakage. I hope that you all found this informative. And don't forget to check me out at Miss Rosie Baby on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.